This is SAP 101 module, and the topic is, what is a process? You have probably begun to master several technology tools that are needed to do your job. Anything from creating spreadsheets, creating presentations, to drafting up documents. And perhaps some people have had experience with an enterprise system. The content in this topic module deals with integrated business processes and the enterprise systems that support them. The concept and skills that you will gain from this material are likely a bit different from what you have experienced previously. To master the concepts, principles, and techniques, you will need to view the material from a more integrated, cross-functional business processes perspective. The most common functional organization structure that you are likely to encounter in an enterprise is called a functional structure. Organizations that utilize a functional structure are divided into functions or departments. And each of those departments or functions are responsible for a set of closely related activities. For example, you may have the accounting department, the finance department, and the warehouse. Let's say that the accounting department sends and receives payments, and the warehouse sends and receives and materials. Employees become experts in the department that they work in. Day in and day out, they focus on their specific departmental tasks. The functional structure served organizations really well for a number of years because it enabled them to cope with the challenges generated by rapid growth. Over time, however, the system developed a serious drawback. The drawback is referred to as the silo effect. The silo effect is when people in different functional areas perform their steps in a larger process in isolation. They essentially do not understand more of what the process he holds except for their part of the process. What happens many times is because the departments and employees are so narrowly focused, tasks can be forgotten. Documents sometimes are laid on people's chairs or laid on a person's desk and they just happen to disappear. And some might even say that you just catapult the task into a separate department without care or concern of the process or the outcome. The key point here with both the functional structure and the silo effect is that it is completely opposing the idea of business processes. So let's look at an enterprise system. Because business processes can be so complex in nature and the hardship of coordinating activities among the different functional areas take place, enterprise systems are used. These systems support the end-to-end -end processes and are essential for a company to have efficient and effective execution and management. And think about it in today's global world. It's not just the processes and the functional areas that we need to look at, we also need to look at how people in multiple locations across the world affect different steps within the process. So what is a business process that we've been talking about? Well, a generic business process that I'm going to show you will walk you through what takes place. Every process has a trigger, and the trigger is some sort of an event, such as receiving a customer order or recognizing the need to increase inventory. Specific steps are then completed by different functional areas. Again, they could be something like the sales department, the warehouse department, or the accounting department. These process steps can include uh, value, uh, validating the order, preparing and sending the shipment, and issuing an invoice. So we'll see that each functional area 
takes part in one step of the process. In the end, you have an outcome. And in our example, the outcome would be a successful fulfillment of an order. Although this process is a very simplistic example, it highlights the fact that the processes consist of interdependent steps that are completed in different functional areas, but must work together in order to have a successful outcome. In summary, this module topic introduced key concepts related to a typical functional structure. We also looked at what the problems were with a silo effect. We looked at a generic business process and we understood the importance of having a trigger, functional areas that are coordinated, and a successful outcome. And finally, we looked at the holistic approach to business and the importance of looking at the business process from end to end and not just a functional area.